In this video, we will learn how we can create a poll on our website. Poll means, let's say you want your users to add a vote or vote on your website in the form of yes or no. For any question you entered, you can easily create it using the poll module. To reach the poll module settings, first click on extend. Here you can see the module section extend is visible. Here let's say we will just add poll here and see that it is available under core or not. The module is default module or not. So let's add poll. So here you can see I have added poll and it is not available here. It is not available. So now we will go to the official website and search for the poll module. Here you can see the link drupal.org slash project slash poll is visible. This is the official page of poll module. Here you can learn about the details like overview of the poll like it allows your site to capture votes on different topics. Here are the features, requirements, you can learn about the documentation also. And the last one is the project information. Here you can learn that it has been reported how many times, installed how many times, it has been downloaded how many times. Here you can see the download section. So just click on the zip file to download it. Now you can see it is asking for saving it, click on OK. On the left, you can see it has been downloaded, poll. So now we will go to the extend page again and install it. Here you can see install new module section is visible. Now click on install new module. Here you can see it is asking for browsing the module or installing from a link. So we downloaded a zip file. So we will click on browse. Now you can see the poll module zip file is visible click on it and select open. Now you can see it is visible here, now click on install for installing it. Now you can see the installation has been completed successfully. Now we will click on enable newly added modules. So now you can see we have reached the extend page which was the default module section, module section. So now we will click, we will click here and write poll here and let's see what happens. So here you can see we have typed poll and now it is visible because we have installed it. Just click on it. Here you can see we have clicked on it. Now I will click on install. So here you can see the module poll has been enabled. Now we can use it. Go to help. Here you can see the help section is visible. From here you can enable it. You can use it. Here you can see the module overviews are visi visible here. So on the left, you can see the poll would be visible after path, click on it. Now you can see the poll section is visible. Here you can read about it, its uses, how you can create a poll or view a poll. So now we need to create a new poll. So we will select add a poll. So here you can see we can easily add a new poll by adding a question and choice. We can add more choices here. And the settings visible is author, it is posted by admin, it is active, so select it. Runtime it means that for how many days or for how many time it the poll would be visible on the website. So I will be selecting unlimited only. The next option is allow anonymous vote. If you don't want user to log in and just vote it, you can select it. The next one is allow cancel vote. It will allow users to cancel their votes. So we will keep it as selected. The last one is allow viewing results. It means that the user can view the results or not. So we want the user to view it. So we will click on it. Now after doing all the changes, click on save. But here you can see the error is visible that we haven't posted any question here. We will post a question as well as the choices. So let's go for it. So here you can see we have added a question that preference of language for web development. We want to check that how many users use Java and how many use PHP and prefer that. So here we have also added choices. So now two choices would be visible. If you want to add another choices, you can click on add another item. So now, right now we will only include two. After doing the changes, after adding content, click on save. Now here you can see the poll preference of language of WebDel has been created. Below here you can see it has been created. It is, it is active right now. We have allowed anonymous votes here, so it is on. On the left, you can see right now there are no votes and there are the operation links from here. You can edit it. So now we will see how we can enable it on our website. So now you can see we have reached the block layout section by clicking on structure then block layout. Here let's say we want to add a poll, the most recent poll to sidebar second. For that click on place block here. Right now you can see only a single section a website message is visible here. So click on place block. So 
as we have seen in the previous video that how we can add a new block so here we will do the same just click here and type poll and let's see what happens so here you can see I have typed poll here and the section is visible to add a block so now you can see you can add the most recent poll now you can see on the left we just have to click on place block click on it so here you can see the section is visible where you can edit the title also we will keep it as default only visibility if you want it to visible to only to some restricted pages only you can add you can select the content types but right now we want it on the home page so we won't touch these settings here are the pages if you want to show or hide it to any page if you want to specifically add it to a page you can list it here and select the options here you can see the roles you want it to be restricted to which user we want it to be visible to everyone like admin and everything so we won't touch it here the last one is regions here you can see sidebar second is visible because we need to add it to sidebar second you can select any option and you can change it like if you want it under sidebar first you can easily select it and after doing the changes click on save block so here you can see under the sidebar second most recent poll is visible it would be visible above website message so now go to bottom and click on save blocks here you can see the block settings have been updated so now go to our website and let's see what happens click on back to site so now we have reached our website here you can see on the left side by second our poll is visible preference of language for web development we added a choice is java and php with the vote and if you remember we also selected the section for view results so we can easily check the results also side by side so in this video we learned what is a poll we also learned how we can easily add a poll module to add a poll to our website we also learned how we can easily place the voting poll on side by second thank you for watching